Good morning, Sage Street Bobcats. My name is Christopher Kathman, and welcome back to our third to last show of the year. It's crazy how time flies, even when we're in quarantine. We've got some interesting packages for you today, so let's play the intro. To start our show off, here's a quick PSA by reporter Thomas Leon Fu about how to keep yourself safe during quarantine. Hey Bobcats, I'm Thomas, and I'm here to give you a quick PSA on the coronavirus and how to prevent the spread. So, if you don't know, virus is spread by getting into your body, and it does that by entering through open spots in your body, like your eyes, nose, and mouth. On average, people usually touch their face 16 times per hour without even noticing. So the best way to protect yourself from the virus is to stay indoors. This eliminates all potential contact with the virus. Although, keep in mind that going outside is not inherently bad. It's the people who you're near that have the potential to spread the virus that is bad. So, if you must go outside for any reason, make sure to social distance correctly and safely by keeping your masks on and keeping a good distance apart from everyone. Thanks so much, Thomas. I, for one, try to keep my mask on whenever I go outside, and I definitely make sure to follow social distancing guidelines throughout our city. Now, we have an interview with Nadia Razak with someone who enforces those guidelines, Officer Sakamoto, Sage Creek's very own resource officer. Thank you for joining us today, Officer Sakamoto. We are so glad to be able to talk to you today about the important job you're doing in our community. And so um, now, um, a lot of my day is spent just assisting uh, other detectives, working on different cases, um, and just helping them out with the investigation, sometimes running on video or go interview um, witnesses or things like that, and, and just trying to help them out as much as I can um, because unfortunately, you know, that kind of stuff just continues to go on. If you go to the beach on the weekends, um, I a lot of times will be on the Polaris uh, Beach Patrol. It, it's still all the same. We love to get out as much as we can in the community and talk to people um, and just, you know, just say hi and, and, and just communicate and just be out there with everybody. It's, it's, it's really what I truly enjoy. We'll just kind of comply with with whatever the rules are, I know it's super confusing and they're changing all the time. Even for us, you know, one week it's okay, this is how we're going to handle the situation or, or this particular area. And then the next day it, it completely changes, you know, because of the latest news or, or whatever happened. All the rules, if an area is closed, don't, don't go into the area of parking, parking is closed, things like that. If the area is open, that's great. We, Trust me, we want to try and open up as much as possible. It's not the the police. We're just enforcing what what state and what what our um, governor is telling us. Just that you're not alone. Um, this this has been a, a crazy time for even for us and, and our families, and um, just trying to deal with with all the new rules and and situations and things like that. Obviously, we want to make sure everyone stays safe. So make sure that you do follow those rules and, and, and the, the social distancing and the, your safety um, protective wear when it's required to, to use it. Please use it. Um, and just to not be afraid to reach out to people. Thank you for the job that you're doing and the Carlsbad Police Department. We appreciate it here. And thank you for talking to us today. You're welcome. Thank you again for having me on. It was a pleasure talking with you. And like I said, if, you, if anyone sees me out there, please stop and say hi to me. I'd love to talk to you. And thanks for having me on. Thank you. Thanks so much for the advice, Officer Sakamoto. Now, for our last package of today's show, Jack Hutches is going to give us a quick tutorial on how to make an effective mask out of a bandana. Thanks for that, Jack. Now I can stop making my mask the lazy way and hopefully help prevent the spread of the virus. 
but I can help spread advertisement for thestagenews.com, which has been full of brand new stories. So make sure to head over there to get a look at all things from bioluminescence to the new grading policies. Thanks so much for watching, Bobcats. Remember, there's only four weeks left in school, so keep up with your remote online learning for just a little longer. This has been Christopher Kathman reporting for The Sage.